Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We got 2020 Panini Elements Football coming at you. 12 box random team break number two, full case. All 32 teams are in. Everyone gets a random team in the NFL right there. Full case, a lot of great stuff in here. A lot of excellent stuff in here. Big thanks to all of these folks who got into their, uh, who got their spots straight up. And congrats to this little group right here who won their spots in that prestige pack. So congrats to you. All 32 teams are in. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Four and a one five times for each list. One, two, three, four. And a one, fifth and final time. After five, we got Derek Melanson down to Thomas Maki. Four and a one, five times for the Tims. One, two, three. And a one, fifth and final time. After five, I said five, right? Okay, just making sure. After five times, we got the Houston Texans down to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. All right. So, Derek, you have the Texans, Jason with the Cardinals, Kyle with the Chiefs, Sean with the Falcons, Andrew with the Eagles, Mike with the Colts, Juan with the Seahawks. Phil with the Ravens, Jason with the Saints, Nick with the Broncos, Mike, you got my Raiders, Ron with the Redskins, Pablo with the Rams, uh, Peter with the Steelers, John uh, H with the, I don't know if I'm going to attempt your last name there, John, John H with the Chargers, Chase with the Jags, Mike, Last Pod Mojo, Bills, Jeff with the Bengals, Mark with the Cowboys, Bob with the Giants, Robert with the Bears, Phil with the Patriots, Sean with the Titans, Jason with the Vikings, Ryan with the Panthers, Ron with the Dolphins, Robert with the Browns, Edwin with the Packers, Jason with the Lions, David with the Jets, Eric with the Niners, Thomas with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I'm going to alphabetize, get it all on one screen, and alphabetize by team. If you need to see your, uh, if you can't read that, if it's a little too small, let me know. And I can read off your team again. I'm going to pause the video, allow for a little bit of trading time. Looks like Chiefs Cowboys for trade. Jets may be up for trade. Bills up for trade. So some trade, trade activity happening. So when we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades and then the break. Stick around. All right. Welcome back, folks. There was a lot of trade chatter, but at the end, no deals were done, unfortunately. It's all good. Let's keep going. There it is. 12 box, random team three on Tuesday, the... This is not the 15th today. I'm not getting my dates right today. Today is the 18th. What the hell's going on with me here? There you go. All right, so there's the full case right there. I just looked on the site just right now. If you're watching live, jazbeescasebreaks.com, there's another full case of 2020 Elements football up. talking a little bit about, I know it's a football break, but Fernando Tatis Jr. hit a grand slam, swinging on a 3-0 and count, hit a grand slam late in the game to run up the score a little bit. The Padres were already ahead by a lot. But Mike Towers asking, you know, so that's kind of an unwritten rule, don't, don't run up the score. Are there unwritten rules in other sports? Mike Towers asking, that's a good question. Are there? Football ha football must have some unwritten rules. Like, don't don't tackle the guy right here. Maybe basketball. I don't know. Don't don't shoot ba don't shoot baskets when you're in a blowout and it's like the last second of the or last and time's running out. And people score. People guys don't like that. That's an unwritten rule. Not to do that. All right, box number one. But I think baseball certainly has the most unwritten rules or courtesies or whatever you want to call it. There's Josh Allen, four out of 46. For the Bills, that'll be for Mike G. Damien saying unwritten, don't, don't pass one up by a lot in the fourth quarter. Yeah, in the pros, right? I feel like in college you want to run up the score because you want to dominate. I don't know. I feel like it's a little different in college. Ooh, four out of five team chemistry. Gardner Minshew and DJ Shark, a train whistle for Chase and the Jags. 
An unwritten rule at Jaspies is that out of fives and under, get the train whistle. There you go. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. What's the reason for the peel off the part in front of the cart? Oh, they put a, they put like a, a plastic coating on here so it doesn't scratch. All right, two out of 20, Michael Gallup, Dallas Cowboys. Oh, I know, Dan. Dan's here. Turk sent me a, I could show that, I know it's a football rig, but I gotta, I gotta show this off really quick. I was waiting for you to come into the chat. So some of you who, wait, let me do this last one really quick. It's Ken Anderson, Bengals. Old school Ken Anderson going to Jeff. And the Bengals. Right, in football, Hawkeyes, right. Fake doing doing fake plays if you're already up on, on top. Probably a good unwritten rule. Sixty one out of ninety nine. Turk sent me a shirt, which I appreciate. Thanks, man. Of one of my favorite logos in basketball that they should bring back. I appreciate that. Man, love that guy. Oh, did you get one for yourself as well? Nice. You got a good two for one deal. That's the old Denver Nuggets logo, Mark. The old Denver Lo Nuggets logo from their ABA days. Well, when we have our Jaspi meetup next year, I'll, I'll 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 remember to remember to wear it if you if you arrive. All right, next box. Wait, you gotta you gotta let me know where you got that because I kind I want to get a hoodie version for the fall as well. If they if they sell those, sixty four out of ninety one Cam Acres. That will be for the Rams. That's going to go to Pablo. Brandon Ayuk, 28 out of 199 frequency relic. Awesome. Thanks, Dan. Shoot, I forgot his... Uh, he's got a name, too. Maxi. Maxi Minor. M-A-X-I... Yeah, I-E. Maxi the Minor. There's Brandon Ayuk, Relic for the Niners. That'll be for Eric J. Then we've got Thaddeus Moss, 39 out of 149. Randy's kid. Future neon signs for the Redskins. Ron has the Washington football team. And then we've got Jake from State Farm. Buffalo! Mike G, Last Spot Mojo, Buffalo Bills. 26 out of 79 on that one. Next box. Ooh, Obsidian sold out? Are you sure there's not a mini break or something like that attached to it? Mm, no, does not. I don't see one. Unless Nick posting one at the moment, so... Might have sold out straight up. All right, so looks like we got looks like we got a few uh, few lined up. We got the sounds of a uh, playoff basketball in the background. OKC playing Houston. Houston's up twenty three eighteen, and uh, with just a minute twenty left in the first quarter, just started. Anthony McFarlane, Steelers, Peter Lombardo. Steelers have a have a uh, have a good um, old school logo as well. It's a guy with the I forgot his name, but it's a guy with the, with the helmet on, maybe on an I beam or something like that. There's Justin Herbert. I think that's what they're called. Justin Herbert, 55 out of 199 Chargers. That's going to be for John. 
Supercharged Charger. San Diego Supercharger. We got Jalen Hurts. Proton Patch Autos. 15 out of 47. Four color patch and autograph. That's a great looking card there. Eagles. That goes to Andrew with the Fly Eagles Fly. And we got a redemption. Steel Signatures Copper, card 35. J, A, Jason. Jason Kelsey, another Eagle. Travis's brother. So that'll go to Andrew R and the Eagles who won that spot in that prestige pack break. Nice. There you go, thanks Jacob. Steely McBean is the name of the guy in the old Steelers logo. The old cartoon logo, which is pretty great. I guess there, it, was a, it was of that era because I think the Cleveland Browns elf, the Cleveland Browns elf was from that, from a similar, from the similar era as well. There is a cartoon character phase, I guess. I don't mind the the Steelers throwback jerseys, those Bumblebee uniforms. Kind of don't mind it. There's Barry Sanders, seventy-six of seventy-nine. Lions, Jason with the Lions. There's Chase Young, 14 out of 47. What's the frequency, Kenneth? That goes to Ron. We've got Curtis Weaver. It's 008 out of 149 for the Dolphins. Ron Wester with Miami. And we've got a bangle. We've got T. Higgins on plate autograph. Those look really sharp. That's going to go to, we're on to Cincinnati, Jeff with the bangles. We're on to Cincinnati. Remember, we got another full case. Random team break in the store uh, with one uh, mini break attached to it where you can try to win spots too. If you don't want to pay for a full spot, you can try to chase a spot for a fraction of the price. All of that's on jazbeescasebreaks.com. All right, we got Miles Sanders plate for the Eagles, 10 out of 10. For Hawkeye, who had the who won that spot in the prestige break, and he said he had the Eagles in the prestige break too. Nice low number there. We've got Jerry Judy, supercharged relic, three color patch to forty seven. My rivals. That's going to go to Nick Stober and the Broncos. We got DeAndre Swift, 55 out of 75. Rookie Neon Signs, Lions, Jason with that one. And there's Joe Mixon, Cincinnati Bengals. I guess we're getting everybody except for Burrow. Maybe we're warming up to him. Bengals, Jeff. 20 out of 50. Jacob P. saying that the name of the elf, the Cleveland Brown elf, is just Brownie, Brownie the elf of the Cleveland Browns. Why do they go with an L? I feel like we've looked this up before. I feel like every football season, as it approaches, we always talk. Why an elf? Why not a dog for the dog pound, Cleveland Browns? Now, I know why the Browns are named the Browns, but logo-wise, it just seemed, I don't know. 
Clyde Edwards Hilaire. Gold plate. 72 out of 81 for the Chiefs. That'll be for Kyle Weaver. Now, I'm not anti elf. I'm just wondering what, what the elf has to do with uh, the Cleveland Browns the dog, at the dog pound. Why is there an elf at the dog pound? 93 out of 199. Supercharged relic, DeAndre Swift. Jason with the Lions. There's Austin Eckler. Nice neon signs auto. 35 out of 125. If anything, I'm pro elf. I'm pro Will Will Farrell as an elf. I'm pro elves of the Merkwood. There's Fletcher Cox. Philadelphia lineman leads way as Eagles start their ascend. There you go. Ascent? Shouldn't it be ascent? Or maybe there's a line missing. They're ascend to something, 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 something. Damien is asking, how quick do the card ship after a break? I don't know, a few months or so? Six months? We hold on to them for a while, admire them. Um, I actually, I, I don't know. Usually one to one to five business days after a break, depending on if we have any like long breaks lined up or anything like that. I don't know. People in the crew, can you answer Damien's question? Let Damien know like the region that you live in and how long it takes for you to get your card from break to your mailbox. Now, obviously with the pandemic, you know, post service has been pretty slammed. Um, so sometimes there's been some cases where stuff arrives to people super, super late, just gets delayed. But, but aside from pandemic-related delays, if you can give, uh, you can give Damien the, an idea, that would be helpful. There you go. Thanks, C-Shep. Ryan Fitzpatrick. To 46. Yeah, pandemic delays don't, yeah, I mean, they do count, but yeah. So sometimes you could wait four to five weeks pandemic related. But it looks like a, Cody saying week. And if it's anything later than that, it's most likely pandemic related delays, which could vary depending on what region you're in, what your local post office, where they're at volume wise, et cetera, et cetera. All right, there's Jordan Love, Packers. That'll be for Edwin. C.D. Lamb, Proton Patch Autographs. Nice. 10 out of 10. Nice low number. Mark L. with the Cowboys. I don't think Mark was in the chat, but a lot of people wanted to trade for your Cowboys, Mark. There you go. Nice one for the Cowboys. And another redemption. Josh S., I'll let the shipping team know. I'd like to say whoever handles the shipping did very well. Received my first packs this morning. Gotten into multiple breaks. All were shipped together. Ten days from break to door. Nice. So there you go, Damien. Hopefully that gives you a better idea on our shipping times. According to Wikipedia, a brownie is a household spirit from British folklore that is said to come out at night while the owners are asleep and perform various chores and farming tasks. Is it? Does it look like an elf? Oh, the sticker is off a little bit here. We've got steel signatures. It's going to be L, A, Larry, Larry Allen. That's got to be Cowboys, right? I think we looked this up. I think we got him last time. He only played for like two teams, I think. Yeah, he's Cowboys. Uh, that goes to Mark L with the boys. The Nerdy Genius, where did you get these? Are you talking about these? These boxes from the Big Hit Garden. We grew them. It's 
So with these 2020 boxes, we'll plant these in the Big Hit garden and then water them throughout the year, take care of them throughout the year. And then, um, oh, my foot's cramping up a little bit. And then by, by next year, 2020, we'll have more of that product up. All right, next one. Yeah, sometimes Panini will send us some element seeds as well. We'll just plant those in the big hit garden, really just really take care of them. That's, ha that's half of our jobs every day. We're like watering big hit plants, you know. A lot, lot, of, lot of work. There's Khalil Mack. 34 out of 79. Brandon Ayuk, 172 out of 199, frequency relic. Another niner for Eric J. Then we've got Colin Johnson, 16 out of 149. Daniel, as long as you hit that support button and let us know about that, then that'll be taken care of. But unfortunately, I'm unable to help you here. Jacksonville Jaguars, Chase with that one. And we've got Javon Curse, nice. Old Javon Curse. Titans, Sean Maddock with that one. There you go, Sean. All right, four more boxes to go. Yeah, next year's elements, I think that crop should be pretty good. There's J.K. Dobbins for the Ravens. Wait, Daniel, are you are you the one in California or are you the one in Florida? I feel like we're we're looking for a response from the Daniel in California. There's DeAndre Swift, 98 out of 199. Uh, we're waiting for the person in California. Well, anyway, you can discuss it with Vanessa. I'm sure she let you know. But yeah, we're just waiting on his response. All right, Lions, moving on. Jason with Detroit. And we've got Cam Akers. There he is. Not a redemption. 13 out of 25. He has been in previous products. Rams. That goes to Pablo in the Rams. Yeah, who ends up with the number one pick? And will that be Trevor Lawrence? Even if Trevor Lawrence... I guess Trevor Lawrence has enough on his resume, right? He doesn't really need to play this year. If they do or do not. Antonio Gandy-Golden. For the Washington Redskins, Ron Wester with the Washington football team. I don't think they're going to delay. Oh, I don't know how that's going to affect the draft. I don't think NFL is going to delay the draft. No one stops the NFL, certainly not college. But that, I think, but it will, it should or will affect how players get drafted. I mean, I think that's certainly going to happen. I think we can absolutely see that it's going to happen. All right. Uh, certified Football is the next big release, Mark. We have pre-orders of that available now on jazbeescasebreaks.com. So pre-order now, folks. Remember, a lot of products being heavily allocated lately, so the sooner you buy, the sharper that play is going to be. Probably save you some money. Jason with the Cardinals. There's A.J. Dillon, in most cases. 23 out of 47, two-color patch for the pack. Edwin with the Packers.
Kenneth Murray, 39 out of 50. Chargers, that's going to go to John. John H. with that. And we've got Chris Carson and the Seahawks. That'll be for Juan and the Hawks. The Hawks of the Sea. Two boxes go. Remember, we got another full case of 2020 Elements football in the store now. And I think just one mini break attached to it as well. It's kind of hard to get this up. One mini break attached to it. So check that out, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Spiro Dita's doing the doing this game? Ryan Pat uh, Ryan Fitzpatrick. Spiro Dita's used to do the uh, Lakers broadcasts. Radio broadcasts. Fitzpatrick for the Dolphins. That's gonna go to Ron. We've got LaMichael P. Ryan, Samaj's brother, to 47. Three color patch, supercharged, relic, Jets, David Allison. The J E T S Jets, Jets, Jets. And we've got Grant Del Pitt, Cleveland Brown, 69 out of 149. That is for Robert Runkle in Cleveland. And the plate autograph, there's my guy right here, Henry Ruggs III for the Las Vegas Raiders. Nice. And that is 57 out of 79. You can see bottom right-hand corner. Who's got my Raiders in this break? Mike G got randomized to the Raiders here in Random Team 2. All right, and the final box of elements. Good luck. They're all my guys, Tyler Brenner. They're all my guys, as long as they have Raiders on the front of their jerseys. Or I guess it doesn't have Raiders on the front of their jerseys. It kind of, maybe in the patch at their collar. As long as it says Raiders on the front of their jersey, they're my guys. I root for the guys on the, root for the front of the jersey more than the back of the jersey. All right, last box, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, hey, Bo Jackson, as long as he has Raiders on the front of his jersey, it's my guy. There's Antonio Gibson to 91 for Ron and the Washington football team. Even Jamarcus Russell is my guy, Damian. There's James Morgan. Wish he wasn't, but wish he was a little more motivated, but what are you going to do? David Allison, Jets. Then we've got Isaiah Simmons, 47 out of 50. Cardinals. That'll be for Jason. And the last one is Minka Fitzpatrick, Copper Plate. A little bit of cardboard dust on there, but there you go. 18 out of 29. Nice. That's for the Steelers. Pete. Peter Lombardo with that one. Got randomized the Steelers in this one. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's it. No points to randomize. Nothing. Nice, clean break. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with me. Uh, like I said, there's more in the store. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next one.